Yo, it's your boy Lil Gizmo. You tuned in to Will Mass Productions Artist Spotlight. Fuck with it. My name is Lil Gizmo. I'm a artist. I don't want to say rapper or singer. I'm just an artist. Uh, I chose Lil Gizmo because I don't know. Like, it's always been like my alter ego. I had it since I was in high school. So, and like after I started rebranding, I just took it like fully on. Somebody just, just, you know, willing to take these leaps. You know, do everything. You know, they supposed to do to get their content on the right path. You feel me? On the right track. Anybody who just take it serious, anybody who wake up in the morning and like eat, sleep, and breathe this shit, that's what an artist is to me. Ain't no, you feel me? Ain't no days off when it comes to this shit. So when you just doing this shit effort, effortlessly and just mindlessly, that's an artist. I'm 26. I grew up in Sauk Village with my mama and daddy, and then I got a brother and sister. I'm a middle child, and um. Yeah, it was cool. It wasn't really, like, I ain't really had, like, no struggle or nothing like that. But, you know, uh, my mom and daddy did what they could for me, you know, growing up and stuff like that. And they gave me, like, the tools I needed to be successful. And then once I got older, you know, all that shit went out the window and I had to start over. <laughs> I did all that shit on my own, you feel me? I had to start, you know, being independent. But, yeah, they, they definitely just, just gave me the tools and just paved the way for me. And it was up to me what I did with that. Yeah. Like, even since, since I was a shorty, I just fuck with music. I just like music. I like how it make you feel. I like listening to different songs and just, like, I'm a really emotional person. Like, I like how just certain songs just, like, put you in that, you know, it make you feel some type of way. So, like, just being a kid and not even just understanding them feelings, I just always wanted to, like, recreate that shit for somebody else. So, like, when I learned, you know, how to do it and how to get better with my music and stuff like that, like, I wanted to do that. I wanted to make people listen to me and be like, damn, like, it make him feel some type of way, you feel me? Like, it make them feel good or make them put, they put them in their feelings or whatever it, the case may be, you feel me? It's real. I think a lot of times, you know, some of these guys, they do a lot of stuff for entertainment purposes, but I think, um, I think when you listen to me, a lot of people can relate, bro. I think it's uh, it's real heartfelt and it's real personal when you listen to me. I feel like I, I do a good job at like talking about a lot of things that we all go through. So when you listen to my music and you hear what I'm saying, it's not really like, you ain't gotta, it ain't bars that's gotta be manifested in a way. It's like stuff that people go through every day, you know, in their life, so. Uh, shit. Found the raw beat, then after I found the beat or whatever, I just, I record it, like I don't, I don't write no more. So I just punch in, punch out, and then after I'm done, I smoke. And if I fuck with it, then, if I fuck with it while I'm high, then it's a good song. But if I don't fuck with it and I gotta get high, then I know I gotta scratch that. But you feel me? That's just my creative process right there. Just record, smoke, listen to it, and see what that motherfucker do. I think, just growing up, I watched niggas like, well, I ain't really like, I didn't follow them like they huge fans did, but niggas like Lil Bow Wow and Lil Romeo, like I always admire stuff like that. And I always want to be like a child star. I always want to do stuff like that. So over the years, as they became, you know, like, I guess like not A-list celebrities or whatever, or not like the top rappers or whatever, like I fell into that whole Chief Keef era. Like, ah, I watched Chief Keef like from when his start and to now, and that kind of motivated me. I, I saw niggas like Lil Durk, and where well, they started at from now, and them niggas like really, really was a huge influence on my career now. Like I listen to them, and like I just I like their their story and their path, how they started somewhere, and now look at where they at. You know the progress. You can see that shit, and that kind of like inspired me to want to you know want better for myself, and it just kind of made me stay hungry over the years, just seeing like my favorite artists just become you know these well-known people all over the world. So that was like my inspiration. I just want them to respect it. You know, I don't, I don't, um, I don't, 
plan to be everybody's favorite artist. Hell, I don't, be, I don't plan to be anybody's, you know, uh, everybody to be a fan, but you know, I just be wanting people to respect. Just give me my credit, give me my respect. That's all I ever want. I, I, I can like the money a plus for this shit, but I just want people to look at Lil Gizmo and be like, oh, that nigga, that nigga really doing his shit. He can really, you know, put a song together. Whether you like it or not, just being able to respect my craft or respect what I do is just, that's all I really want. I gotta get, I gotta get in the Billboard Top 100. I got to. That's my goal right now. That's all I think about, like, I think I'll be happy. I don't, I don't care how my like career go. Like, if I get in the Billboard Top 100, I think that's just like one of my main goals. Like, that's just, that's just gonna be everything for me. That's gonna be, you know, accolade and a trophy I could really bring home for this little city that I live in. You feel me? And I'll be happy with that. I'll be like the first nigga from South Village with a, you know, in the Top 100. You feel me? Billboard Top 100. That should be hard. Yeah. Uh, stay ten toes. Believe in yourself. Don't worry about what nobody else say. Just keep doing it. You feel me? Just keep practicing your craft. Record every day. Invest in a home studio and invest in yourself. On bro. That's all I can say. Just stay true to yourself. That's it. That's all you can do. Ain't no plan B. This it right here. This is what we doing for sure. We got it. I think we gonna go far too. Uh, new project, new singles on the way. Shit, other than that, just stay tuned. Y'all gotta see. Just keep following me on my social uh, platforms and stuff like that. Y'all follow me on Instagram. Love you, Gizmo. Same thing on Twitter. You know, lock in with me, compete. Just look at my content. Search Lil Gizmo up on YouTube. Y'all gonna see everything. All right. First Sosa, then Dirk, then... Lil Wayne, and I'm gonna explain myself why I put Lil Wayne at number three. All right, uh, Lil Wayne, let me see. Uh, I'm trying to think. I'm gonna say, damn, all right, Sosa, Dirk, Lil Wayne. Uh, I'm gonna say Lil Uzi. Then, I'm trying to think. Then I'm gonna say myself for number five. You know, I. I put Lil Wayne as number three is only because I feel like uh, Sosa and Dirk, I kinda I kinda watch them in a different way than I watch Wayne, you feel me? Like Sosa and Dirk seem like they so close to home, so I kinda watch like the ins and out of their career and stuff like that. But don't get me wrong, I'm a huge Lil Wayne, you know, fan that thing. I fuck with him, but the the type of feel when I listen to Lil Wayne, I don't get that when I listen to Lil Dirk and stuff like that. Cause I that shit hit differently. Them niggas like from where we at, from where we live, so I fuck with them a little bit more harder, but Wayne definitely got it, so I ain't so I ain't trying to tweak, but that's my top five for sure. Big Lotto. Oh bro. <laughs> hey, hey, she got it. That's all I can say. She got it. She fan. She can get me to do anything. It don't even matter. Oh bro. Sketches. That's all I rock. That's all I like. Sketches. That's my favorite. Don't even ask why I just know it's sketches. I'm gonna say I'm acting like it's a hard question, but uh, real life, like social media, you can really be anybody you want to be, but like real life, that's like, you know, it's hard to find like genuine people in real life. Like anybody can be whoever they want to be online, regardless if you know them or not. They can, you know, give you perceptions of different things. So I'm gonna just say real life, cause you gonna. You gon' you gonna be able to filter out the real and the fake once you meet somebody, even if they lying or faking to you. You gonna be able to, you know, filter that shit out. Not a goddamn thing, oh, bro. <laughs> oh, bro. Waffle House. Ain't none out here but the Waffle House. That's my favorite. I don't really have like no favorite food spots out here. I rather I rather eat at the crib, and I don't go out like that. But you know. When I'm OT and shit like that, my favorite food spot is the Waffle House. That's all I fuck with. Oh, bro. Uh, the most recent one on my hand, I got hella tattoos. I don't even know how to count them, but I got one on my hand. Um, It's a lion just because I'm a Leo, so I put it on my hand and everything. So, yeah, oh, bro. Uh, shout out Love You Records. Shout out D1CMG, you know. Uh, shout out all my supporters and followers. Uh, keep fucking with me. Go ahead, follow me. Like I said, follow me on all my social sites. Love you, Gizmo. L U V Y O U U. 
Gizmo. That's on Twitter and Instagram. Go fuck with me. Uh, yeah, I love y'all.